The suicide bombing in Peshawar in Pakistan has prompted a massive investigation. And even though it is a heavily guarded compound where this happened, the question being asked is just how did the bomber manage to gain entry into the building? As per some Preliminary investigations conducted by the Pakistan police, it's been reported that the attacker violated security norms by wearing a police uniform and a helmet when he staged the attacks. The suicide bomber, who killed over a hundred people inside a packed mosque in Pakistan's Peshawar, was seen on CCTV camera entering the high security area on a motorbike. The provincial police chief has said the attacker has been identified as a member of a militant network. The chief further added the bomber traveled on a motorbike and crossed the main checkpoints of the police lines. He then parked his bike, asked for directions to the mosque and walked there. He was creating a drama, dragging his bike on the side of the road and being in police uniform. Yes, he was in police uniform. I admit this was a security lapse. My men could not stop it. I concede that it's my fault, not theirs. The police have made several arrests uh, pertaining to the blast, but the motive and the logistics involved are still being examined. Officials are not ruling out the possibility of inside help. The bombing was the most deadly in a decade to hit the city of Peshawar. The city sits on the edge of the Pashtun tribal lands. It's a region that has seen violence for two decades now. As worshippers gathered for afternoon prayers at the mosque, the bomber blew himself up. After the blast, uh, the remains of the attacker were recovered. Given the proximity of Peshawar to the Afghan border and the nature of the suicide, suicide attack, many have suspected the involvement of the Tehrike Taliban Pakistan or TTP. Within hours after the attack, two officials from the banned terror group in fact even claimed responsibility, but a day later, the group distanced itself from the attack. Over 90% of the victims in this case were police officers. It, uh, in fact, is in line with the pattern of attacks that have been carried out by the TTP in Pakistan in recent times. Officials also suspect that a breakaway faction of the TTP called Jamatul Ahrar may be involved in this attack, even though further investigations are underway. The provincial police chief has said the entire police force is grieving the demise of their colleagues and have vowed to take revenge for each and every life lost. We're now joined by our Pakistan bureau chief, Anas Malik. Uh, Anas, uh, the TTP, of course, uh, is an organization that has been responsible for most of the terror attacks that have taken place in Pakistan in recent times and they have certainly been emboldened uh, ever since the Taliban returned to power in Afghanistan in 2021 but at the moment their role in this blast is not very clear there have been some flip-flops there is also speculation about whether a breakaway faction of the organization may be responsible how is this being viewed in Pakistan? How is it playing out? Well, we saw that very emotional press conference by the IGKP uh, Amjad Nasir Jha uh, and he, uh, he said and he vowed that he, they would be taking revenge for every life that was lost in the attack on Monday. But uh, when it comes to the claim, uh, you rightly mentioned there have been a couple of flip-flops on the part of the Tehrike Taliban Pakistan or TTP. But by and large, uh, we spoke about it earlier as well. We have to understand the dynamics within the TTP. It, it, uh, it shows or reeks of two things, two very important things. One, that there is an internal rift and B, that there is uh, most of the groups that are uh, that are part of the TTP are not aligned with each other. It's a 20, it's a uh, it's a consortium of 22 terror organizations. Most of them, which have either been operating from Afghanistan into Pakistan or uh, from erstwhile Fatah under the umbrella of implementing Sharia in in the country. Uh, now, this attack particularly was initially claimed by the TTP Mohammed chapter and Umar Mukarram Khorasani, 
who is now the Amir of the TDP Mohar Mohammed chapter, uh, which is part, which was from the Mohammed agency from the erstwhile Fatah. Uh, that is uh, where uh, who uh, uh, the side which claimed it. Uh, they've been part of the TTP Shura. Two of them, two of the members are part of the TTP Shura, and they've got a history with the central TTP leadership. For the central TTP leadership, uh, for the very reason that it was at a mosque and at the optics, it might not uh, align ideologically with their political narrative as well. Therefore, it was imperative for them to distance themselves from such a, such an act. But that does not mean that the act has not been carried out by somebody within or people or, or people within the shura of the TTP and Jamaatul Ahrar, the group that was that was behind the 2014 Karachi airport attack uh, is being suspected uh, uh, as the as the main preparator behind this attack. Neha? All right. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out and what the investigation reveals in the days ahead. For now, thanks very much, Anas, for all those details.